Hi everybody, um, my name's Bex and I am an English gal who lives um, in the Strathbogie Ranges here in Australia, which is about two hours out of Melbourne. And I want to start sharing with you some videos about our life here. Um, my partner Tom and I have a little boy called Ezra, um, who is going to be two in April. And uh, we live in a self-built tiny house. Um, a 7 metre by 2.3 metre tiny house here on family property um, in the Strathbogies. And um, yeah, we live in a beautiful part of the world. Um, we live predominantly off grid. We have a solar set up um, and we support my partner's parents with their amazing garden. Um, and we're in the process of um, saving up to purchase some land from them. We're purchasing a three-quarter acre plot from them just across the way, um, which we are going to have as our own space. Uh, we're going to put our tiny house on there to begin with, and then we are going to be building an off-grid home um, in the next couple of years um, with beautiful gardens and some chooks. Um, and, yeah, I'm really excited to share this with you. I love watching videos from people all over the world doing similar things, getting back to nature, growing their own food, living more simply. I um, love to create. I am a seamstress. Um, I make my own clothes and I sell those as well. And I also knit. And so I'll be sharing those parts of my life as well. But there's going to be a lot of homesteading content on here, um, gardening content, some um, sourdough baking. I love to cook um and create produce um so yeah that's what you'll be seeing here i'm really excited to start sharing more with you guys um you'll be able to see if you look back some videos from when we built our tiny house um and some little bits and pieces over the last few years um but i'm really looking forward to producing videos more regularly um i'm gonna aim for a video a week we'll see how we go with that but um, yeah, for now, I just wanted to introduce myself and give you a little bit of a backstory um, and we'll go from there. family's property um, his parents own this land and we rent a space from them in their paddock and we are in the process of purchasing one of their paddocks from them the next paddock along um, which you can just see over there you just see the edge of the oak trees um, so we're going to be owning our own three-quarter acre block um, which is really exciting we're hoping to purchase that this year um, and then start a slightly larger house build at some point in the next couple of years. Um, so the gardens that you see and the fruit, fruiting trees, um, and Tom's parents have been farming this land since the early 80s, uh, over 40 years now, and organically um, farming it. And um, so they do predominantly most of the gardening um, it's certainly not predominantly done by us I definitely help out a lot especially in the spring and the autumn and we have our own little gardening spaces that we have as well but what you see is certainly not 
just my own. They do a, um, a huge amount of work on this property and um, we get to enjoy so much amazing organic food from it. So it's, we're incredibly lucky. Um, but yeah, at the moment it is high summer. Um, we've had a very strange, strange season. Um, we're just going into tomatoes and zucchinis. The raspberries have just ripened. We have locuts on the tree and um, there's some strawberries, a lot of fruit, but the veggies are really far behind um, what they would normally be. It's been a really cold season, um, a really, really hard winter with some really late frosts. So we've lost a lot of the stone fruit but we have cherries so hopefully you see some footage of me picking some amazing cherries i've got some just here um, you're currently balancing on a cherry bucket they're so delicious um but yeah i'm looking forward to sharing with you um some t of my time around the garden and um how i like to spend my days on this beautiful property and also our future plans and show you around our new bush block that we're going to be purchasing this year so looking forward to showing you that so i thought i would give you a look at our tiny house setup i was going to clear up my kids toys but i decided to give you the real look <laughs> at what it's generally like um but we have a large deck addition that we added on when my little one um, came along it gives us a lot more space um, but you can see the original tiny house just here. Um, we built this tiny house ourselves in 2018. It's, we've been living in it for three and a half, maybe four years. It's a um, seven meter by 2.3 meter trailer, um, triaxle trailer. Um, and then we built it with a timber frame it's really well insulated. It has a shed style roof that slopes down from one end to the other end all the way along. And then we have this fantastic covered deck that my partner and his dad built us when my little one was smaller, just to give us more space. But yeah, this is our little home. As you can see, we're on a beautiful property. This is where my partner grew up. This is his family property. There's, those are our solar panels just there. Um, we've got our battery storage behind the trees um, in a trailer. Yeah, it's a very beautiful space. And the property that we're going to be purchasing is just over there. So those oak trees that you can see, the big balls of oak trees, they are on the property that we're going to be purchasing. Yeah. It's a beautiful summer day.